excellent, excellent project. I am reading from Beloved, and as many of you know, this is a very serious, poignant story about post-Civil War Ohio and the experiences and memories of ex-slaves. And um, even though I cannot pretend to be an expert on African-American literature, the black literature, both nonfiction and fiction that I've read, has meant a great deal to expanding my life. So this is from page 26, Toni Morrison, beloved, and uh, Ms. Morrison has numerous writing awards. He left on a Saturday when the moon was in the place he wanted it to be, arrived at her cabin before church on Sunday, and had just enough time to say good morning before he had to start back again, so he'd make the field call on time Monday morning. He had walked for 17 hours, sat down for one, turned around, and walked 17 more. Halle and Paul spent the whole day covering six O's fatigue from Mr. Garner. They ate no potatoes that day, sweet or white. Sprawled near brother, his flame red tongue hidden from them, his indigo face closed. Six O slept through the dinner like a corpse. Now there was a man, and that was a tree, himself laying in the bed, and the tree laying next to him didn't compare. Paul D. looked through the window above his feet and folded his hands behind his head. An elbow grazed Sethi's shoulder. The touch of cloth on her skin startled her. She had forgotten he had not taken off his shirt. Dog, she thought, and then remembered that she had not allowed him the time for taking it off, nor herself time to take off her petticoat. And considering that she had begun undressing before she saw him on the porch, that her shoes and stockings were already in her hand, and she had never put them back on. That he had looked at her wet, bare feet and asked to join her. That when she rose to cook, he had undressed her further. Considering how quickly they had started getting naked, you'd think by now they would be. But maybe a man was nothing but a man. And, which is really what baby Suggs always said, now that she remembered. They encouraged you to put some of your weight in their hands, and as soon as you felt how light and lovely that was, they studied your scars and tribulations. After which they did what he had done, ran her children out, and tore up the house. 